welcome to Evo X Lifestyle. We are here today with the beautiful Kiala Foy. Hi. We are going to be interviewing Miss Kiala today. We're going to ask her a few questions about herself and get to know her a little bit. Okay. And tell us about yourself, Kiala. <laughs> Um, so I am 22 years old. I am from Meriden, Connecticut, and I have two younger brothers. I love cats, and I've been in LA now for um, about less than a year, um, but I'm loving it, I'm rocking it out. <laughs> well, what made you come to LA? Um, I'm an actress, so um, I started acting in New York. I started doing like background roles and stuff like that for probably every single show you could think of, Law and Order, Orange is the New Black, Power, all that stuff and then I um, started getting like some actual speaking roles so like Lifetime um, movie network you can see me on a, a little show I just play like a girl getting a scholarship and I'm like thanks but I was like hype about it um, I also did something on the Food Network um, so it's a show called Mystery Diners and I played like an evil elf and it's this Christmas special so I had like many people from Connecticut like hitting me up like did I just see you on Food Network? I'm like, yes, you did. So yeah, I'm just, you know, trying to do every opportunity I can. All right, so what was it like growing up in Meriden, Connecticut? Tell us a little about it. Oh my goodness. Um, I loved it because like, I just like life in general. I'm always like doing as much as I can and trying to have as much fun as I can. But um, I don't know, I just always thought like, there's just so much more world, like I have to get out of there and like do it. So that's what I did. Like. I don't know. Growing up in Meriden, like, it was just like, okay. Is it a small town or is it, like, more city? It's, like, a small city, if that makes sense. Like, it was diverse and stuff like that, but, um, I don't know. It just wasn't a lot to look forward to. It was just, like, the standard, and I'm more, like, not standard. Like, you know what I mean? Like, college, so-and-so, so-and-so, and I'm like, uh, right. <laughs> So what do you do for a living here and what are some of the goals you want to reach with your career? Okay, um, well, so for a living, I basically, I'm a hustler. So I just be working all the time. Like if you don't have a nine to five, I just say you're working 24 seven, honestly, because that's literally what you do. Like I could be doing anything. I do like dog walking sometimes. I think it's super fun. Like I can bring the dogs to my house. I can walk them, I can do whatever. I could go house cleaning. I could go help people clean up their garage. I could go drop somebody's kid off at school. I don't know, whatever, whatever I'm doing, I'm getting some money the good way. <laughs> and um, as far as my career wise of where I want to go, I basically just want to, I want people to know me for acting. Like I want them to know me for having a good talent. And when they see me, it's like, oh, you know, oh yeah, that's Kiala from so and so. Like just how you see like Lauren London. And it's like, that's Nunu. Like she did great. Like that was her big thing. Like that's something that I want to have is like, oh my God, that's, you know, so-and-so from so-and-so. So I know that will happen. And I just said so, so many times. <laughs> <laughs> So when did you first get into the modeling aspect of things and when did you start using Instagram as a platform to promote yourself? Um, I, I think I grew up with like social media, stuff like that. So Instagram started, I think when I was like a sophomore, but it wasn't like a huge, huge thing, but people were still on it. But I was always trying to like make videos, like even on Vine, like I was doing like Vine stuff and I had gotten some, you know, some like followers from there. Cause I'm really silly and like goofy and stuff, but, um, I don't know, Instagram just kind of took off and I just tried to take off with it, you know what I mean? Just, you know, using it to as much as you can and it really does help like with anything. Like you never know, you can meet people to do whatever. And it's, it's good that Instagram is there because you get to find like-minded people. So like, if you want to do something, like you're going to be able to find somebody who's doing the same thing or wants to do the same thing or has ideas and then it's like, boom, like if you guys just do it, then, you know, it becomes a thing and then that's when it's like, you know, beneficial as far as like using Instagram and stuff. Okay, are you single? I am very single and it's so sad. I'm on my way to living a cat lady life. It's really sad, but I do love cats, so. I love cats too. Whatever. I'm single as well. <laughs> See, okay, so, okay, I'm not the only one because I've been feeling like the only one. Like, all right, well, <laughs> clearly I'm doing something wrong. No, I was kidding. Do you consider yourself flirtatious? I don't know. I'm not. I'm like very like silly. 
like if I see someone I like, I'm not afraid to like go talk to them and stuff like that, but I'm not somebody who's like, hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Like, yeah, so it just comes naturally. Yeah, like, <laughs> and not mama, boy. What have you learned from some of your past relationships? Absolutely nothing. No, I was kidding. Um, <laughs> my past relationships, I just learned like you have to have your own back at the end of the day. Like you just have to make sure, um, you know, you stay on, stay in your lane of what you have for yourself. Like don't get so caught up in somebody else that you're not, um, you're not doing what you want to do to make your own self happy because only you can make yourself happy. So there's that. And then also, um, don't trust guys. Just don't trust them really pretty much. Like I'm trying to like think of, I feel like I had another meaningful message that I forgot in the middle of saying it. Do you think? Do you have a do you happen to have a favorite relationship that you can tell us about? A favorite relationship? <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like I didn't even like any of my boyfriends. I had like three boyfriends. <laughs> I did have one good relationship, I think, but it was like sad because it was like he um he had a family. <laughs> so I <laughs> so it was one of those situations. Yeah. But um made a good friend. Made a good friend. Okay. Well that's not bad at all. He's <laughs> been in on bad terms. That's that's what matters. No. Okay. So if you were stranded on a deserted island and you could only have one thing, what would that one thing be? Okay. What I would want is a blanket. I know that sounds ridiculous and you guys might be like, oh, I want my phone, da da da. Well, first of all, you gonna have service? Where are you gonna charge the phone out on an island? Mm. I need a blanket, a big old nice comforter that can either keep me cool or keep me hot. One of them flowy ones, nice ones for bed, bath and bed. Are you team iPhone or team Galaxy? Well, clearly you're team iPhone. Why are you team, team iPhone? iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I'm team iPhone. It's like, it's just like a fad, I think. Like, yeah. I've never had an Android, honestly. I, I did actually, I had an LG, like one of those LG touchscreen phones or whatever, like in eighth grade. But I mean, other than that, I'm not just always had the iPhone. I feel like it's just neater. That makes sense. It's kind of like Xbox and PlayStation. Like, it's the same thing, but different. But not. Like, <laughs> which one would you, would you choose out of the Xbox and PlayStation? The Xbox. Xbox. But everyone would say that's, like, the Xbox in that situation is like an iPhone, though. Because the PlayStation, I know it's like, I don't know, it's like something about whatever you can unlock or, like, things that you can use. It's like... An iPhone is like very restricted with a lot of stuff like Androids and like the PlayStation and stuff like that. You're able to do more. But I, I still be doing stuff with my iPhone, so I don't know. This is quite popular. Are you on the side of Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? How do you feel about that situation? Where do you stand? Oh God. Where do you stand anywhere? Do you care or not care? I stand in the middle. <laughs> no, honestly, like I, I wasn't even, a huge fan of Nikki in the beginning, like the beginning, beginning, like when she was like boom, ba -doom, boom, 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 boom. I was like, okay, like who is this? But everyone always said I looked like her and stuff like that. So then I was like, okay, Nikki, like boom. But then Cardi came out of nowhere, and Cardi just has this this hood rat like mentality that just she just brings it out of me, and I just feel like I'm a, a whole blood from like the Bronx streets in New York when I hear her music. And it's just fun. So I really like Cardi B and Nikki. <laughs> yeah, no. Cardi definitely came out and she did her thing. She kind of took over. She did take over. Because even when uh, when Bodak came out or whatever, I mean, that shit was hot. It was hot. And I, don't, I can't really say there is like a song like that from Nikki. Even though she's great, she's successful. I'm not saying that she's not. But... If I had, like, I could probably think of a song from Cardi before I could think of a song from Nikki, even though Nikki is the queen, when I vote, boom. But Cardi, man, she's just a vibe. Yeah. What is your favorite restaurant here in LA and why? Hmm. I, um, there, hmm. <laughs> you know what's 
crazy when I go out sometimes I don't even like get the names of restaurants so like I could have gone someplace and I probably wouldn't even know the name of it but there is a place that I do know the name of and it's not like a fancy restaurant but it's called Tender Greens and it's just like really good food and it's just like you know you could get like salmon or like potatoes and like I just I love salmon so that's why I mentioned the salmon and I love potatoes I love that's why I mentioned the potatoes <laughs> Um, so it's just like really good. It's just like served fresh. You can get like steak there and stuff like that. And it's just, you know, good cooked food that you can get that's like pretty quick and you can even get like a salad. They have like a, um, a lemonade in it, but it's a mint lemonade and it's so freaking good and refreshing. Like, so it's like right near my house too. I'm pretty sure it's all around LA, but tender greens. It's like really, really yummy. And my friend put me on. All right, I didn't actually ask you this in the beginning of the interview, but when is your birthday and what is your zodiac sign? <laughs> yes, um, my birthday is August 18th, 1996. Yeah, and I am a Leo, so if you didn't know, you seem so know. like a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. Really? I think it's, it's next to it, right? Yes. I'm a whole Leo. Leo. I'm like, maybe she's a Virgo. I know a lot of girls that love salmon and they love I love salmon, like, so I'm obsessed with salmon. And, like, being out here made me obsessed with avocado. I don't know if you guys like avocado or what. Do you like avocado? Yeah, I like avocado. I love it. It's like you put it everywhere. It's either on the side of your dish, on your sandwich, in the sandwich, <laughs> on the side of the dish, and in the sandwich. I don't know. It's just you have to eat it, and I need a whole avocado, like, the whole thing. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. It's like a Cali thing. Mm -hmm. What would your perfect day be like? Where would you go? Who would you spend it with? Things of that sort. My so perfect like day. I really enjoy like relaxation. So I would love to do like a spa thing. Like I like getting massages. So like a massage would be great. Um, and then getting some good food. So some kind of good food. Uh, from anywhere, it could be 10 degrees. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, like, I would say a massage, good food, and shopping, of course. Like, going to go get something, like, clothes. I like to buy a lot of stuff at once, so like, I don't know, like, I would maybe go to like the fashion district and get like an abundance of clothes. Like, that's fun to me, rather than just like, going to just, you know, like regular Forever 21. Like, I would rather go like, honestly, like Salvation Army or like, you know, like a thrift store or something like that. They have them like on Melrose and it's just like, you can find quality pieces, but like things that are just like cool and different. It's not like, you know, the same stuff that you're seeing all the time. So I like to do that. Okay, so if you had one wish, what would it be? Um, but my one wish I think would just to, to have my family like be with me and just us live super comfortable. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't have to be like, oh, we're rich and famous and all that jazz, like that'd be nice. But it's just, just being comfortable, like just having everything that's like necessary, having, you know, a car, having your bills paid, having, you know, food and running water and all that stuff like that is, that would just be enough for me. That's, that's my wish. Do you see your family often? Like, do they come here to visit or do you go to visit? No, I, I haven't seen my like parents in like maybe since I've come out here. So like it's been like over six months, but um, my brothers, I actually brought them out here for like two weeks in the summertime. And um, we went to like Disneyland and stuff like that. And they just, you know, had a good time. I, I probably had more fun at Disneyland than they did. Like they were acting like, oh, you bring me to this little kid place. I'm like, Aww. what? <laughs> They're like 13 and like 17, so. But whatever. They were like, we had fun because you were happy. And I was like, Aww, what? That's so sweet. That, right. But yeah, I, so, yeah, I just want my family to come over here, have fun. Okay, so what do you like the most about um, LA so far? I don't know. No, I'm just um, I just like that. No, I like all the opportunity that arises with just being here. Like, but people come here and it's almost like, oh my God, it's LA, like we just have to do something. So it's just like, I don't know, I like that aspect about it, if that makes sense. Definitely, makes sense. it's very, I think it's very, a lot of opportunity. Yeah, like a lot of opportunity and, and stuff like that. I, tr I tried not to say that because I came from New York, like I said, so it's there's opportunity there as too, but it's, it's just different here, like, there's just always something to do here. Like there's classes you can take. Like I'm not even a dancer. You know Aaliyah Janelle? I've been going to her dance classes, dancing in heels, like as if I'm an advanced dancer. 
<laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. It's so fun though. Like, it's a lot of fun. Have you, um, have you done like any work out in the Hollywood studios or anything like that yet? Yeah, I have. I did, yeah, I did when I came out here. I did like, cause I was like, dang, how do I start like doing stuff out here? So what I did in New York, start background. Come over here, we start background. So um, I had told myself when I had visited, I visited and I went by the Walt Disney Studios and I was just like, dang. I was like, I'm gonna work here one day, like da 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 da. And now I'm like living here and my first job was at Walt Disney Studios. I went there to do um, a show called The Fix and like literally, you know, I had gotten my name, you know, you're casted for it. So like when you go in, there's someone there and you have to like give them your actual passport or your license or whatever and they check you in and stuff like that and you get your pass like go in there and it's like people pay to go into these studios to like look at them and I'm over here like getting paid to, to freaking like be here so I was like super stoked but yeah I, I was playing like a lawyer too so it was like really funny I was like the youngest person there and they're like did they really cast you and I'm like uh yeah I was like don't I look 26 at the most <laughs> I did they gave me a little blazer yeah they gave me clothes and all that stuff food and it's a good time. So in New York, I actually went to Zendaya's uh, pop-up shop and I met her there or whatever. Yeah, and I was Zendaya. just like, yes. And I was just like, hey, I was like, oh, I was like, I'm an actress too. Like I worked in Orange the New Black, da da da. And then she was like, that's amazing. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna see you like in LA girl, like don't play with me. And then what happened, I actually worked a show that she's on called um, Euphoria. And I saw her again and I went up to her and I was just like, hey, I know you may or may not remember me, but a year ago today was when I met you. So wow. yeah, isn't that insane? I worked on the show with Zendaya again in LA now, one year after seeing her in New York, for me telling her. But that's just, you know, universe work and I just, it was crazy, it was crazy. But yeah, Zendaya. Manifestation at its best. Yeah, Zendaya, I really like her. She's like one of my inspirations. Um, Rappers or artists have you worked with so far? A lot. <laughs> like that's, that's what I learned. Like coming out here, it's like these people are accessible. You know what I mean? Like it yeah. seems like they're totally unreachable sometimes, but they're not at all. Like. I did music videos and the first one I did it was two chains and tie dollar sign and I'm like oh, okay what's lit. um girl's best friend it's like uh, like yeah it's called girl's best friend so um my part they actually casted me to be one of the lead girls so they had more than one lead girl but I wanted to be like they had other girls who were like dressed up so they were all looking the same because they were called like Oompa Loompa girls but they had gotten like a dress and like this white wig they had white contacts they had gotten these um like bedazzled like all over their lips and I just asked the director guy I was like I was like can I look like them because like I always am just like sitting pretty looking regular like I want to look cool so I took so I like basically switched roles to somebody else and then I got to be like looking like them so it was like super fun um but yeah I did so that was like the first one that I did out here the next one I did um was Tyga they you know they had us go on a bus like all the way basically to Vegas it was almost I don't know maybe like a hundred girls or whatever and they yeah they gave us like they we got to keep the clothes that they gave us it was um like a, a one-piece thing and like boots and socks and like a mask that they gave us and it was for the um it was for this song flossing in the bank so floss floss in the bank by Tyga um so we're like in the desert like marching and stuff like that and it was like it was just like super super awesome and then I did um uh, I did uh, Little Pump, uh, Butterfly Doors. I did Tyga again. Okay, I'm gonna have to go watch that. Yeah, they, we were dressed in like these cool outfits. Um, there was literally like freaking eight Lamborghinis or, or uh, Ferraris. I don't know. Um, I did Tyga again, and it was uh, it was like girls want to have fun. I did that music video, and then I did um, Kev <laughs> Juicy J, Kevin Gates, and Lil Skies um, music video called Let Me See. So that was like really fun. We're like in an office or whatever, and we're just like, I don't know, I gave him like a massage. <laughs> so that's what you see me doing, like giving him a massage in, in the music video. Which, who did you give a massage to? Juicy J. Juicy J. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, like this is crazy, so. Um, well, let's just do it in increments. Where do you, first let's start, where do you see yourself in five years? She <laughs> said in increments. Um, in five years, I just want to, have like a home and I have a home 
trust me I have a home but I'm just saying like I want it to be you know that's where I'm staying like I'm gonna you know get a home and change it up to be like you know me you know what I mean like I want to have a freaking glam room with one part of my wall that's like a fuzzy wall like a rug or something you know what I mean like just personalize my home and that to be like my home so, so five do you years. Want, do you let um do something a little more far fetched? Where do you see yourself in twenty years? Have you thought about that at all? Like what no. you might be doing when you're forty two years old? <laughs> right. Oh my god, forty two? That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know. Like so far in the future. What is that? 20, 20, 30, 9? Oh, oh gosh. That just sounds I think unreal. We'll be in the world by then. Right. <laughs> in 20 years, man, I hope I have a husband and, and a couple of cats, a couple of kids. Yeah, totally. <laughs> no, yeah, I do. I do. I think, like, yeah, that would be cool. Like, a little Kiala running around or something. Yeah, that would be. A girl. No offense. Yeah, I, want, I, want, I definitely want a girl. I definitely want a girl. Hopefully I get a girl. Do you only want one? I would have four. Four. Okay. But it just depends. Like, I feel like with kids, like, it's not even me. It's like, I hope, like, however my man is, like, he wants kids. Mm -hmm. So I could just be like, okay, like, I get a kid. Like, you have to talk about <laughs> <Campbell>. Right. <laughs> not, not 10. Not 10. No. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know about five. That's when they start Those falling four. out. <laughs> That's when they right. start falling. They just drop. <laughs> Okay, well, that is the end of our interview today. We thank you so much for joining us, Miss Kiala Foy. You're and nice. it was wonderful to have you. And we look forward to, you know, getting with you again and getting some more stuff done. We're going to move forward to the photo shoot and get some photos done and get you on your way. We thank you so much for coming out. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you, Evo X lifestyle for having me um it's a super fun super dope um and again i'm kiala my instagram is at kiala so it's k-i-a-l-a-f-o-y that's my instagram thank you uh yeah and my youtube channel is actually in the link in my instagram so you can just click on it but my youtube is my name as well so kiala foy and you'll see me with white hair <laughs> Right. Anything you want to say in the camera? Oh, no. no? I, I was going to tell you, you can... Uh, <laughs> He'd be like so far from the camera, he's like, I'm oh, No, I just, I just didn't want to make no noise. I didn't want to... I'm not here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, but uh, could you do one thing, too? Mm -hmm. uh, I met, like, Chris Brown. I met, like, Trey Songs, like, all those yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. T.I. Yeah. Girl. But, yeah. I love Chris Brown, too. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, like, before I came out here, I was like, I'm going to meet him. I'm going to marry him. I'm going to beat him. Married. That's it. And I met him. We're not married yet, but I met him. You definitely look like his type. That's what people say. <laughs> it's, I'm serious. Like, I was going to say it, but, like, literally somebody said that. And I was just like, yo. Petite. And light skin. Like, no, light no. skin, right. But they say that he likes, you know, like, Blasian girls. Like, he still does have his little girlfriend, that one that looks like Karuchi or whatever. Oh, he has a girlfriend right now? I think. I, don't I didn't even know that. She'd be at the crib. <laughs>